You're listening to the Real Talk Pill Talk Podcast. What's going on, everybody? It's T. Pendell. Welcome back to the Real Talk Pill Talk Podcast. This is a special podcast. It's a crossover, and we're really honed in and focused on a series we got coming out called Buried. Um, so not only are we dropping the Real Talk Pill Talk Podcast, we are also dropping the First and Wild Podcast in collab with out the box podcast. A trifecta, baby. We were on the yes, train sir. on yesterday. Hell yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> <laughs> train. Train, nigga. Like <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Any other been in the train? Pop it out like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm from New York. <laughs> What? Whoa. I don't know. Nelly. I like that. That's Nelly. what we're talking about. Nelly. Hey. Like, yeah. I probably trains all the time. What? Oh. No, I'm just That's how we got that thing started, baby. First 30 seconds. What is it? First 30 seconds. And it seconds. doesn't help that I'm the only female yeah. here. Yeah. Right. 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 On this episode of Black. Wow. <laughs> okay. Black. On the cast of Oh, man, no. So what? I see what you did there. Oh, man. So right. pretty much we're, we're talking about the, the series called Buried. And, you know, this is the cast of everybody that's on the show. Uh, we're going to introduce ourselves left to right. You go first. Uh, yo, it's good. Rennell. Everybody calls me Nels. Um, character is Alan. Um, that's it. <laughs> All right. My name's Slim City. My character name is... Forgot? <laughs> yeah. Hey, in fact, let's take a pause. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 no, no pause. That's, that's hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> Melvin. That's hilarious. Car- Caroline. Caroline. Yeah. We keep it all the same. same. What I mean, your boy Slim City Live, my character on the show is Melvin of the show Buried. Hi, I'm Nelly, and my character is Caroline. I'm T, and my character is Cameron. I'm Julius. Oh, that's and my son's name. I'm really? sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Julius, and my character's name is Drew. All right, that's what's up, man. So, Alejandro. so Alejandro, Alejandro. Alejandro. Nah, 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 so pretty much, uh, we want to talk about some of the the um, theories behind the themes behind the show. Buried a lot about cheating and what what point? What's what's everybody's breaking point? You know what I mean? What is the breaking point you think that would take you to? act the most out of character of yourself. So, like, uh, a little early, we were talking earlier about this, and uh, for me, if something were to go to that level, I'd probably be, like, raising a child that I thought was mine for a period of time and finding out the child was not mine. Let's say after, like, you know, 10 years, finding out. We, we call him Jamaica, a, wearing a jacket. That's a long time. You know what I'm saying? That's You're building a, a bomb with a child. That's the thing in Jamaica? Yes. Yeah, Jamaica is, like, you say, like, 70% of the Men out there raising somebody else's child. No. Oh, yeah. wow. It's That's crazy out there. Well, but well, you guys, I don't think yeah. it's going <laughs> because everyone says it takes a village. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I think, I think what he's saying is. Yeah, it takes a village, guys. No, I think what he's saying is unknowingly. Right, 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 right. It's called wearing a jacket. Not. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> but it's so crazy because like back in the days, like, you know, before modern medicine and these type of paternity tests, like way back in the days, like, these villages and these towns, they used to, you know, everybody was having sex with everybody. So everybody raised everybody's children. So that's where the, that concept came from. Like, it was never like, oh, you had sex with, nah, that's everybody's child. No one knew whose baby was baby, but you know, that's like that's where it comes hey, from. It's survival. That's more survival, though. Like You were born and raised in Jamaica? Nah, I was born here, but, you know, we was back and forth. My, my dad got citizenship, so you know, he came up here. Oh, no, you sure that's your dad? Have you ever watched? <laughs> uh, have, you right. Right. have you ever watched? Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's a good question. Nah, you know, real talk. Though, I don't even think <laughs> he did not answer that question. No, my dad would have been like, you know, no, my dad would have been like, my dad would have been out of there. Questioning his whole life. No, my dad. No, my dad would have been out of there. My dad would have definitely been out of there. But you know, you see me and my twin brother and my parents. Like we looked at it like, so I ain't worried. I've I seen your twin brother. Yeah, you guys do not look alike. It's good. Yeah, it's kind of the thing. We do. We do. We do. They got a dome. She's trying to hype it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my friends actually dated his twin brother. That's funny. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you're tall as shit, and he's like. So you said maybe, huh? He took a lot of the height and the genetic. My brother's smart. Yeah, he got the hair. Shit like that one on the sports and nigga movie. See? Remember that one on the sports and nigga when that movie had a twin? Yeah, like a little twin. It's called twins. It's called twins. Yeah. Oh, man. So, Nelly, what do you think will take you to the breaking point where you feel like a man can hurt you so much you got to, like, 
grab kill a him? knife. Lose your shit. Oh, yeah. Like, Straight <laughs> killer. Don't say nothing to incriminate. This clip could get ran back in a couple years down the line. Something pop off. She did say that. Look what she said on this podcast. I I I I think. Um. I mean, everybody cheats. You know. So. You cheat. Yes, I cheat. Back. I don't cheat first, but I do cheat back. Oh, she had that don't You cheated What? That was a character, though. Like, you can't. Do I, no, like, do I are what? Do you cheat because you knew your partner cheated? Or yes. You, or you feel like, oh, I kind of like he's doing something. No, I knew. So how, like, add another body? Like, how do you think that's getting even? In your mind, your world. I mean, we both going to be hurt. Hurt, you gonna be hurt with me. Hey, hurt, right. hurt, together. hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's true. So what took you to the point of, of, of you? What uh, took me to that point? Because uh, I've actually, I didn't kill him, but you know, you thought about you my the vehicle might have hit a foot or two. Um, Damn, you hit a new one. Yeah, you uh, this real life. I'm speaking to character. Yeah, I'm saying I'm, <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna be careful. Yeah, I'm trying to follow it. like, no, listen. <laughs> so, all right. So, I <laughs> think, I, I think, um, <laughs> what would probably get me to to that point? Allegedly, allegedly is um, <laughs> if I catch you in the <laughs> act, <laughs> right? Ooh, in if act. I catch you in the act, <laughs> and you're not even remorseful about it. Mm. I think that that deserves a bullet in the head. But have you caught somebody in the act before? Wait, you said have you if caught somebody in the act before? About it, like, like you just don't care, huh? Have you caught somebody in the act before? I don't, I don't need no story time, just like it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> that was so new. Wait, like, because I don't want to put a business out. You know what I mean? Huh? Like, Told you stop talking about me on the podcast. No, 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 no. It wasn't. You just knew what it was. I knew what it was. Yeah. 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 And I Bills. confronted them both, and then. At the same what you confronted them both for? She ain't got nothing to do with it. No, it she wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, no, no. It wasn't like I confronted her. I confronted him, and she just happened to be with him. Mm. So when so I wasn't getting, straight. so I wasn't. I wasn't kind of. She, you like, wasn't getting that out of him, so you like right. All right. So I asked and her, right? It's your and opinion. you, <laughs> <laughs> you think you off the hook, right? Yeah, I feel you. So it, it was. It was one of those situations, and when I didn't get the answers that I wanted. And, he wasn't even like, you know, sorry. Like, you just got caught. Just be sorry. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So, was, you know. Nails, what about you? What's your breaking point? Make sure. Oh, that's good. I've been thinking about like this whole time. Can you hear me? Breaking point? To where I got to take somebody's life out of here? Or oh, not even or say, not even say, take There's never like, really, really a act point. Out of character. Like, act out of character. Um, I have to feel like it's like malicious intent. Like, you are, like, you're. Purposely, yeah. yeah. Hurting me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like We couldn't go together. You'll kill me. No. No, no, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't kill you, but like, body slam or something. Um, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly. No, but I mean, yeah, it's got... I, I really not have to like, I think also here. it's in the moment. Like, you can look at somebody, especially when you're when you've been vibes. dealing with someone. Mm-hmm. You don't even got to be a relationship. Like, if you've been dealing with someone even mm-hmm. physically, like, you can look at that person and be like, hey, yo, like, you... You was really trying to hurt me. Like, right. Yeah. Or like, yeah. not even that, it could even take a step further. Was like, you didn't even concern yourself like, about my feelings. Right. Yeah, like, like, you didn't have enough I, I think that's, that's to be to, like, to discreet about what you're right. doing. That part. To, to me, like, that yeah, I do part. feel like that's disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, you just that's out here walking right around there. with a bit. Yeah, exactly. Like, you ain't exactly. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I, be, I, be, I be, the restaurants we go to. Yeah. Transparent here. Like that I, I part. Tend to, I tend to react a bit. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, with my size and yeah, my yeah, personality yeah. and everything. They call them the police. I, I get that. <laughs> I get that. It might be a little tough to tell me something. Yeah. And I, I give I give grace for that. Like, mm-hmm. you didn't want to tell me because you knew I was going to wild out. Mm-hmm. Fair. Mm-hmm. But there's a difference between I was scared to tell you and it was like I had an opportunity to tell you. And I, I refused to not tell you. Right. Yeah. And I never stopped wilding out. Yeah. yeah. Like I knew you was gonna get mad. They got away with it and kept it. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. I got away with it. And right. because I got away with it, instead of me being like, all right, that's my yellow light, let me chill. Yeah. It was like that's green light. Let's go get it. Yeah. That's that's a problem. Like that that yeah. really will push me over the edge. Cause now I'm looking at you. I probably already never thought that you'd do that. You're looking way thought, different. Yeah, if I thought yeah. you was going to do that, then like, I, I can't grow with you. Like yeah. no, I can't like, build yeah. with you. It's a wrap. You tried me. I can't do anything. I didn't with you. think you were going to try crazy. me. You tried me anyway. Yeah. Like, I'm double hurt. This, and now my pride is in it. The yeah. big, you know the, the big like, thing. <laughs> even with what you just said, like, uh, a lot of women always say, look, just tell me the truth and I won't get upset. 
<laughs> but men really be like, like I will respect. Like if you come in me and tell me something. I could be hurt, but I'd be like, damn, she kept it a hundred with me. Fact. And I heard it from no, her. No. That's just me. At my That's season true. age. Okay. Yeah. You That's know what I mean? True. Like I'll be yeah. hurt, but I'm like, she ain't had to she ain't yeah. had to do that at well, my season age. And that's even with with the the situation of um I'm at I'm at a I'm at an age now, see, even even with dating, like, you know what I'm saying? If I was out here free dating, boo boo, and the girl was like, All right, this is what I feel, this is what I like, this is what I wanna do. I can respect that. Like she mm-hmm. told me, she kept it a buck with me. Mm-hmm. Like some guys are selfish in the aspect of, oh, I want an open relationship, or I want to do this. But what if she yeah. want that? Can you handle that? Right. A lot of men can't handle they, that. They really That's can. That's corny. They really can. You know what I'm saying? Open on my side, but close yeah, your close your side up. Why your side open? Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> like why are you open? It right. Mean. So it, it take a um, <laughs> it take it take a different uh type, different of, person. type of person to be yeah. able to to Let's have see. that discussion. Let's say your partner cheats. Mm-hmm. They come clean with you right. in an apologetic fashion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you consider continuing or taking it? Away? Um, my right. thing is, I I would think, no matter where we at in a relationship, why did you cheat? Yeah, who you know what I mean? Right? Like, you know, is this is this and something who, we could fix, or is this something yeah. that you just gonna have? Why? Probably, if you just like a promiscuous person, you like being out there, you like something new, you like the thrill of the chase of or being chased. Then that's different. Or if, if you, you were depressed, you were going through, you. or had a moment of weakness, which they love yeah. to say so much. Yeah. You know, I uh, had a moment of weakness. You were on that girl's trip. Yeah. You know, you were on that girl's trip. You sit there, and then here we are. All of that, or like you know. Were you around your friends? Like all, all of that takes takes a thing. Like yeah, you are your own person, but your friends are too. Like we all as guys, we got friends that are like, "Where the hoes at?" And then we got friends like, "Yo, come on, you, you shouldn't do that." Yeah, it, uh, it's too okay. different. No like, you so want your you right, no right, like and, it, yeah. and even if right. you gonna do whatever right. you want to do, you still got that friend that's gonna kick you. Hey, you shouldn't be doing it. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? You want your girl to have them. You don't want your girl to be like, "Come on, girl, like let's do like we used to." Let's have fun. Hot girl summer. It'll be the miserable ones, man. Yeah. So, so to answer your question, so I look at it like like credit. You know what I mean? Like, if I've dealt with you for a while, there's there's going to be a certain amount of credit. Like, whatever it is that you're doing, if it doesn't outweigh what you've done that's good in this mm-hmm. situation, I can ride with it. You know what I mean? Because okay. you, you know okay. how it is. It's the same thing with friendships, too. Yeah. Yeah. Your, fr- yeah. your friends have credit. You have a homeboy that can try to live in daylight side of you and you might not talk to him for a week or so but y'all still straight and you got another right. homeboy who even does anything remotely close you're like hey, you cutting them off right. yeah wrap right. that yeah. shit up because because the yeah. that first homeboy has been there since day one yeah right. so even if he does something that's that's wild can we cuss yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay even if somebody does some fuck shit i'm sorry yeah like you're it it's, it's all right it'll yeah. outweigh it but wouldn't you say even with the it's men don't like to admit but our friendships are literally like our relationships with women as well. Because, well, like, even as a guy, having a guy friendship, I can, like, see do some shit, I'm, I can pull him aside, like, hey, boom, boom, boom. After I pull you aside two, three times, and I don't see, boom, I'm like, I can't even be around this person because you're moving weird. Yeah, like, and you want to be around people. Relationships and same in, same in a relationship. If you pull your girl aside a couple times, and like, you're like, all right, this shit ain't changing. This ain't going nowhere. What are we doing? Like, this, this is not the person... You want people that around you that are going to push you, mm-hmm. like-minded individuals, keep you going. Yes. You know, y'all work, y'all create, you feed off of one another. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you was around a slacker or a loser or somebody that just don't got that dog in them, like I like to say, and everybody don't have that in them. You know, people ask me all the time, man, how you still in shape, man? What you be doing? I be like, bitch, you ain't got this shit. You ain't, ready. you ain't, you don't have this in you to do this. Don't even ask me. I ain't seen you no workouts. Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't like, and that's the same uh, as a friendship or relationship. It take work. It take work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'd be like, I'm not, I'm not having this conversation. Right. You're going to waste my time. That's like some people, you know how I many people came up to me and say, I want to start a YouTube channel. You know how much time I, I try to help, help. And then they, they think they about to get millions of views in a week or two and be like, and they just shut it down. Shut it down. I want to start a YouTube channel. Hey, yo, chill out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, 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 I agree. That's a solid that's point, that. though. Shut up, man. Yeah. 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 No, dude, but it's I'm just holding people accountable. Wait, 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 and I love T, communication T, at this age. What's up? T, when you say your friends is married relationships, I just feel like I have my friends. See, I probably, Ricky, I, I know what type of people y'all are. I know right. where our friendship stands. So I know what to expect you as a friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, How but is that mirroring like Slim, relationship? You you hit me 
It's because we party and we having a good time, right? But well, we could be right, All but right, but right, you're right. not about to hit me if you down, you going through something, you want somebody to talk to, and your feelings are hurt, and you want a shoulder to lean on and cry. Yeah, different. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Mm. I'm okay, talking about okay. a friend that that seen me. I didn't bring him around my family. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, yeah. different. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We cool. We hang out. We chop it up. It's all love. If I can help you in any way, I'll do it. Same vice versa. But, but it's still I feel a like, all right, we've never had those deep down conversations. Right. But I feel like I could come to you and have those deep. Like, we both of have course, of course. kids with fathers. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? But we can have certain conversations now. Yes. Deep, meaningful conversations. Right. But I, we just don't have them. But right. I don't feel like. Which is okay. I don't feel like. I don't think I cannot reach out to T and have that conversation. Yeah, but I think I think where he's coming from yeah. with that, though, you is that. You know where to go to for that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, well, even then, you probably already had that when you mm-hmm. met him. Yeah. yeah. And it's hard to add more people to that. To that once you've already. Yeah. Especially, mm-hmm. like, in an emotional or spiritual sense. Yeah. You have your people. And yeah. and, and in this day-to-day with social media. more people, like, in order for someone to get in that realm after you already had someone, that person's really got to be invested in you know what I mean? And, and you got to think okay. about, like, time is investment. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, if I don't have the time to put into you, that doesn't mean, like, I don't vibe with you the same way. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I can't invest that right. time. And as men, are, we also, yes. we also, uh, we're not, like, I don't want to put, like, part. right, for the most part, men, we rather keep that between Two or three people, like yeah, and yeah, sometimes yeah. brothers. Like you don't want the whole world because the, like women to let that be a role. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. And then, yeah. and then no. you got a new batch of friends mm. and your business out there. Oh girl, yeah. guess how I know about her? Damn, like you know. And guys, and, and that happened to a guy one time. He'd be it's, like, oh no, I never well, get. And even with guys though, yeah. you may not even let that shit out until like let's say right? somebody it, got it, cheated on. You got cheated on. You not gonna say that shit. Right. You hear some y'all boys ever got cheated on? You sick. Right. right. Yeah. I've been there, bro. Like, and then I've it just comes there. out. Yeah. Then you I've like, been there. I've been there. Yeah. Lost, I lost 20 pounds in two days. Men aren't honorable <laughs> creatures. Nah, I be telling my homie, boy, she got me again, boy. <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm out of here, though. I'm going to still hit, training. though. Right, 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 right. I'm hurt, but I got you. Right. I want to say this. Like, I'm a pretty balanced dude, but, like, if I was, like, with my lady and we were living together mm-hmm. and I caught her in our crib, you are gonna need a whole new bed, a whole new rug, yeah. everything. So he well, that's this. different. Like, that's, at that toilet. point, it becomes a crime of passion. All right, parents. so hold on. All right, so so you said that. So you said that. Yeah. He said that. By a raise of hands, a light raise of hands. If you're watching the visuals, you see this. But if you're just listening to the audio, you need to see the visuals. Have you ever been in a woman's place where she had a man and you knew another dude was there, but you were still over there? And y'all was and y'all was vibing, kicking it, potentially knocking it down by raising hands. Wow, y'all yeah, ain't y'all, shit. Y'all ain't what you mean? <laughs> He's not gonna come up with at work. Y'all ain't shit. I don't, if, if I go to, if I'm knocking down no, a hey. at her place, I'm I'm sending this to all. Like, the is this? Are you talking like this is their I'm place here. or their, their, their place? Or she got a sure. man? Wow. I know, I know. You, we all didn't do college, so we already know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, we yeah. didn't all. Okay, so was, well, the, dude, I mean, was the dude living there? Or the dude <laughs> that's what I just asked. Space, and I sleep like, in the space. like yeah, this is I, their. I this is our home. They got toothbrush over there. Clothes, drawers. I think that's the case. Yeah, I really As far as like living together, not. But no one like no, no, no. She had somebody there hanging out yeah. a little bit and I just slid, slid through. through. Yo, it's crazy because yeah, I be in the situations I'm like, yo, this girl, this girl <laughs> fucked up, boy. Yeah. Yeah. I just think but, about but, evil. But like, it didn't evil. stop you from, die like that. No, no, they yes. from accomplishing yeah. your mission. Yeah. Like and sometimes and sometimes the women you know. it, sometimes it's the man fault because you know what you're getting into, but sometimes the women fault because you know your man crazy. Why you invite this man over here? <laughs> <laughs> why you got to? Why are you rolling the dice to this man like? She wanna, she like and then some the people and some men and some women will catch their person in the act and then not address their person. Don't don't go to that side person. You need to address your other. Right. Address you know, sometimes it's not your rush, depending on who it is though, because that person might know both of them. Yeah, yeah that's correct. Sometimes Oof. the woman just really feels like she can control the situation. Like I've, I've definitely had homegirls who've been in those situations and, was, and they'll honestly say, "I didn't think he was gonna wild out like that." And you're sitting there they like, like it though. He's the wildest they like it though. dude we know. <laughs> yeah. You didn't think he was gonna yell well, it's Everybody. me. What do you mean? That's I, even yeah. worse. I've been out of character, and they'd be like, "I didn't know you had that in you." Like that turned you on. They're like, "Why?" Like, what like you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't Why know you. Get, I, know, I didn't know you could get like that. Button. I'm like, man, That's you jeopardizing my life. Right? I be hearing that. That's so annoying. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is a little toxic. It's yeah. very annoying. That's right. That's the thing. And then we're gonna roll into the um, the 
dealing with somebody when you screw it, I guess. Okay. Oh, oh, clean up your back. Right. Okay. All right, so pretty much, guys, Barry, the episode, we're doing a recap of the whole cast. You know, we've reached a point where, like, you know, shit, what was the topic again? All right, all right. Uh, moving, moving, moving on, on to while still okay. dealing with baggage. All right. Um, Barry with the... <laughs> Special series Barry with the whole cast right now, your boy from City Live. Check it out, move to the next topic. Pretty much we're talking about moving on to a new relationship, but still not over your past relationship or your past trauma, bringing all that drama and back into a whole new situation that might be fucking it up from the start, man. A, um, serial, a serial date, a serial relationship. You just hopping yeah. from relationship to relationship to relationship. Man, ain't healed one bit. Or they still just around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, mm-hmm. Like, they're just around. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's nothing crazy, but they're, they're just there. It's like Nobody a friend. Trump, you know? it's like, bro, What's wrong with the friend? It's up. Chill. Like, <laughs> hey, start start <laughs> dating new people. Friends. Still getting knocked that's down, down by the like, ex. Like, if you and your ex can be friends, friends like, sleep together I think yet, that's... Because I don't want you to think I'm fast, but I'm still sleeping with my So I'll explain. I'll explain wow. Explain, I'll explain the friend. I'll explain yeah. the friend. Oh, the reason why I'll explain the friend mm-hmm. is because various situations have happened like this. I'm not going to put anybody out here unless they want to put themselves out there. Whoa. Right? But every, from what I've seen, there's a good number of women mm. who has the friend who they've been cool before, they kicked it before, and she probably didn't give them that time of day mm-hmm. for real. Mm-hmm. Like, they could have been there. They, they just never crossed that line. Point, you know what I mean? Right. And, and honestly, dude's mindset is, oh, that's all right. I'll wait, my. I'm gonna knock it down, down. That's like, crazy. When, when it gets crazy, never let him yeah. hit. If he had, a, he been wanting you for all them years, because he gonna do you wrong. Right. Okay. That's yeah. a good mindset. They applied it to other things. <laughs> right. But that. But that's what I'm saying. Though, like the friend, yeah. the friend can be a problem. It can be a problem because a lot like, of times, like, too, like the friend that's just <laughs> waiting on the bench, yes, friend. Yes, because like. We love yeah, we love it. This man in every frame. Let me get my chair back there, you bro. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, that's you all good. Start, wait, you want me to start from talking uh, about Nah, I said we keep all this shit. No, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. We got to edit this shit. Yeah. 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 We got to add this up. Now you're in this frame. That's right. That's all right. There's two. Those vibe. There's two major words to this. Yeah. Number one, it's benefit of the doubt because... The, the woman's always gonna give the homeboy benefit of the doubt. Mm. He really not like that. Yeah, yeah, like man. he's been around for years, right? Nigga waiting. Or oh, he's definitely waiting. Ulterior motive because of the benefit of the doubt. You're not realizing, buddy, might really have an ulterior motive. Mm-hmm. You're not really even putting that past him. That if things fall out, he want to be the first one to scoop that right. ground ball up. Back clean up. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's just what it is. So right. That matters. Yeah. The friend, and that's a cornball. That's the yeah. cornball. I'm, I've never like. If I'm attracted to you, and you're not attracted to me, I've never said, "Okay, we're gonna be friends." No, no. I'm still, I still like how you look. I still attract yeah. to you. I like your personality. But I you like, can't be my you're friend. You're not about the friend zone. You're not about to sit no, me I down. Shit. You ain't, I ain't on. Hey, put me in the I game. See right. I see you around. I see you. Not about to be friends ever in life. I'm not and a then bitch, some not women a can respect yeah. that. And be like, damn, like you really like you ain't on that shit. Right but you're not about to have me chilling while you dating and having a good time and ooh, ooh, like. Come back and tell me about your shit. Right, I'm good on that. Yo, That's listen. what friends are for, though. Nah, like, you nah, can't, you that can't. Kind of and they go, oh, you, you like my homeboy? Say, hey, I ain't your homeboy. Don't friends on me, girl. Yeah. I'll this shit out of here. Wow. This is the bro. This is the bro. Wow. No, 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 no. Wow. Bro. <laughs> but you, I'm not your bro, The thing baby. is, is you can have, you can have homeboys who are friends, but that boundary got to be set day one. Mm-hmm. Right. You can't sit there and have any kind of physical attraction or tension and then be like, yeah, that can easily be a friend. But the thing is, you can, though. But you can. You can. You can. You can. You can. You can. Yes, y'all would hang a out few. and go pay for shit all the time. A few, actually. Yeah, he'll pay for everything. Yeah, they want to go places with you all the time. Yes, yeah, that's your, you're you're leading them on. That's, 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 no, 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 I'm not I'm because when, when women think we're friends and we friends and this is has happened, we friends and we go out and we hang out. Why am I? I'm not paying for you. Like imagine, that's, imagine that's, you having a man that's and he had a female do. friend. You'd be pissed off if, if your man was out there paying for dinners hey, with another girl. You'd be like, but I was, I was here girl? first. Yeah, like, <laughs> wait, wait, huh? What? Homegirls don't pay for their own stuff. So we why, do pay for our own okay, stuff, so but but it's coming. What? Why can't y'all pay separate? If he's your friend, 
Because that's just what they do. I mean, I can't, so I can't let me, say let me, let me you like question. you go out with a girl. I mean, it's a gentleman thing if to you're do. A man, I guess. If you had a man, oh, no, no, right? Are, are you comfortable with so, your man paying no, for other girls' is, dinners? For his friends, yes. Not just some random girl that I don't know. Like if I have, okay, so I dated this guy who was friends with this girl from like when they were in diapers. If they went out and he paid for her, I wouldn't mind because that's just their relationship. Like, mm, okay. you that's can't. That's different though. From that's diapers, that's like cousin type vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's like fake and cousin. she's a very yeah, attractive yeah. woman. Like, college. I would probably do her. Or work. Or work. If what? If if they met in college <laughs> and <laughs> if they met in college <laughs> and that's their relationship, me Call walking into working. that situation. And yeah, that's how they are, and that's how they've been. <laughs> I'm I'm fine with it because I'm used to it. Yeah. So I can't I can't come in and so change somebody's out, dynamics. Me, you I don't expect you to pay, but if you were to pull out your wallet and be like, I have it, I can't. I can't. I can't. I will not oppose to it. I won't. Hey, but, 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 but Nelly, you gotta ask. You gotta ask her this: If your man had an ex that he was still cool with. And like they chill, but first of like, all, they'll meet up with lunch. Oh, and shit. Of all, yeah, see the tone changed. Uh, and he was yeah. paying for her. Well, she rolled up the sleeves. For his but they're ex, friends. No, they're for, friends his, for his ex, they're for his ex, ex, that's different. Exes are friends. That's different. Yes, they're exes friends. are friends to a certain friends, extent. Yeah. Exes are friends to a certain extent. They have no secrets. Yeah, First so of all, how did your relation? Why did your relationship why end? That type of situation. Uh, it, that does actually is a good it does matter. It does matter because lie, if it was question. amicably ended and you guys are friends and you're just friends. Now, if you want to take the chick to dinner and then you know and like a. No, that's, that's somebody that you had. You had dinner. Y'all don't understand, how, y'all don't, y'all don't understand how intimate. Y'all don't understand how intimate dinner is. Yo. Dinner it's, is very intimate. I will be okay. It's one on one. It's yeah. eye connection. We facing each no. other. We vibing. The Same laughs are like settings matter. the laughs are like ah, ha, ha. arm yeah. touch, leg Elbow touch. T- yeah, yeah. No. It's a lot going on. Teeth. Opening the door. Like that part. <laughs> so does he want to take his it's friend to dinner? Is it like a group <laughs> setting we're talking about, or is this one on one? No, I'm not comfortable with Food that. Food sharing, all, all that. Right. So let's say he has a work wife, or not work. Wife, we not we don't we we don't do work wives <laughs> either. No. no. Because so. so. I have a work husband. I had a work husband. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, what is this work husband? Hey, man, my shit got to work, work from home, I man. Had. So what you want to tell us? I got to let you go. I got to let you go. You told me I got to let you go. We can't do this. No, this work. No. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Well, actually, in the show, he was my work husband. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 exactly. no, no, when life imitates hearts. That's why these women don't want to work from home. No, work yeah. work husbands. <laughs> work husbands and work wives are no go. I don't I don't mess with that. No. So let me ask you a question. Your friends, your friends, your homeboys would take you out and like no, like, not, not like take up. me out, but like we would go you out. Guys, okay, and sure. You guys coordinate to <laughs> find a place to meet, and then he decides to pay for the meal. So yeah. Look up at Chili. Yeah. So the, that homeboy. So none of those. Is it, is it just up. one friend, or is it multiple friends that do this for you? Maybe one, two, or three. If, did that friend ever come on to you or uh, show interest? Did that friend ever show interest? Huh? Did that friend ever show interest? That's Any of them? No, thing. that's what I'm saying. Okay, so let me let me let me tell you. First of all. Do they have it's, girlfriends? Yes. Oh. Multiple. Why y'all don't double date them? Multiple girlfriends? Yes. So I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really call them girlfriends. It's like, situ- it's like situation. situationships. They don't okay. know who I'm talking yeah. about. I got mm-hmm. a lot of friends. Girl, you pussy. What's up? I lived in Miami up until two years ago. Shut up. You don't think, you don't think any one of those homeboys... If they do, it's, it's, it's unbeknownst to me. No one, none of my homeboys no, have no, ever. No. no, I'm just saying, like I've never had a friend that that crossed that line. I don't. None of y'all. I don't. Angry. Honestly, uh, I really don't. Rick's and, not liking your pictures because you. Oh, <laughs> Rick. <laughs> hey, hey, she post. She post. The baby dropped and she lost followers. I did. I really did. I, I was this close. I was like. Nah. Really. <laughs> Really? That's, that's sad I even got you my close friends with my baby oh, pics and wow. stuff. I post, I post, I post my baby. He got even. He sure did. He sure did. You get out the whole story. Y'all ever see? Now, now, don't judge me on this one. Y'all ever see like the pregnant woman? She first post the pregnant pictures. 
And then you start thinking to yourself, like, damn, What's well, up? at least I can't get her pregnant. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I ain't never about the man. They said yeah. the pregnant women had, like, oh, the best yeah. box. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Facts. Right, so, Fire. you know. So, Facts. Am I tripping? No. <laughs> no, you never had no, you know, no pregnant box? Nah. Well, I have, but like you know, what I'm saying, not nobody else pregnant, baby. I have, but that's why. Oh wait, God, wait, bro. wait, wait, wow, wait, wait, Slim. What that is wild. What you know haven't you wild. done? Yeah, like, yeah, all I can remember is y'all got like, kids involved. <laughs> 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 Mom got watery. No, no, no. <laughs> after, I don't that remember after that. Wow. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I don't remember. I, I'll never forget it. She was like, after we was done, she's like, man, you got this baby moving all over the place. I said, oh, oh no, I'm out of here, guys. That's a bit too far. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. I was thinking about like, hey, man. you know, like five, five months, five months, months, five like, months. Your baby is a peanut. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking early on. No, like, oh, months. like a watermelon. Yeah, I, I was so five excited months, when I got to months. watermelon. Every week you ready to open the app, see what she's working with. Hey, Slim, you like, a wild boy. Come man. on. Yeah, I had to know about it, dog. It was, I had this girl right last to She was about eight months. Boy, how about this? That's that's rude. That's rude. Yeah, that's wild. That need to be in. Uh, that's rude. That, that needs to be in Barry season two, bro. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> to smash yeah. somebody's baby mama while they're yeah, pregnant. Somebody like, gotta get shot. <laughs> right. Wow. Yeah, I think like struggling or having a tough time um, in life or in a relationship or just in general. Do you think up and moving to a new city? Is, is like, like the, the, move? the best thing to move for you, or, or how do you feel about people that have? Because uh, we see it all the time. People I mean, are up and move. We know. Yeah. As, as Atlanta, person, but does the situation get better? That's is what you as a person who's actually done that. Um, I will say it was. Is like, it a fresh start? No, it's a fr- yeah. It was a fresh start, but it was like the best thing that ever happened to you. for you. Like it was the yeah, best. Some people move and just mm. move and do the same thing. Sometimes I think yeah, I sometimes say, it you get yourself together when where you're in a situation or an environment where you don't have any influences so like you moving to let's say atlanta you don't mm-hmm. know anybody in atlanta so there's really nothing for you to deter it like your for your focus your focus yeah. right so it, it oh, does wow. work sometimes mm-hmm. i mean they do say naturally like because you know even when you live in the same city everything is like autopilot you right need to like think about oh public's right around pu- the corner exactly like, so naturally your brain gonna like change in a way once you get in the new area but um i feel like you do get a pocket like a window to make some big changes, but that window will probably close. If How effective is it? Yeah. 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 If you yeah. do the same shit again, that shit. Again. I think, I think it's, it's a, it's a matter of just like self-discipline. Right. I Facts. Think that part. Yeah. Moving in general can open up a lot. Right. right? I think mm-hmm. like, and personally, like I remember I just got back from living in Fort Myers for three years. Um, and this was like when we fresh, fresh, fresh got married. So, mm-hmm. you know, living in South Florida for, 15 years and that being college, post college, mm-hmm. and yeah. having your personality established. Mm-hmm. And your personality is not just established by yourself, it's established by the others by you. Right. Like, mm-hmm. Especially if you're social, like I'm right. a fraternity. And, that part. Friends and they, and they pushing like, that personality. Yeah, They're like, like you, it's, give it's, us you. Man, people don't even call me Rennell. Yeah. In South Florida, man. Right. Like, I hear Rennell and I, I jump oh, and it's weird. Yeah, but yeah, in Fort yeah. Myers, they call me Rennell. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like yeah. I found I found myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just being there. Right yeah. right. Some, some of y'all been around for a long time. Like, you know what I mean? So when I'm around like old heads <laughs> and I'm around when I, even, when I hear when I hear like yo phone, like T phone. Like oh, this. Yeah. <laughs> right, no, it's right. me. Like I'll be like yeah. Whoa. You gotta got walk straight. I mean, now he has to like, walk straight. Like you know right, me. it's crazy. So I'll be like, all right. Yeah, you know. it's like you a different so chapter. Right. Another, so when you go somewhere else where you're starting from scratch start, again, yeah. it's cool. That's but interesting. Do you yeah. have the discipline? That's what it is, because you yeah. can go back to old Ways. activities right. and behaviors and whatever right. that now you're in a new place. You start wilding now. Yeah. They didn't even see it. Like when you're when you're back in the crib, <laughs> people know who you are. So you'll do yeah, certain things, yeah. and, and you're always looking. You be like, you're like wild out. Hey, hey. But when you're one in a new drink. place, they don't even know it's coming. Oh, so you're like, that was two K pool party, <laughs> <laughs> throwing people in the pool, oh, pushing oh, security oh, to the floor. Girls and just thongs. wow. What, was what a time. Motorboating. What? What was your childhood? Wait. Pause. Well, I'm a junior, so it was always just like. You know, after the, after that, you know what I'm saying. So right, it was they either, called me twin. It was either TJ twin or twin. Uh, like twenty. Oh, true, because you're actual <laughs> twin. <laughs> yeah, my I was Juju and Nels. 
Mm. How the hell you got Juju? So, That's fun fact. Name Juju. <laughs> oh, bro. Uh-huh. Haitian, Haitian, Haitian. Haitian's always uh, Juju. Yeah. Uh, so, I was called that, and I was called Nels from, like, <laughs> eighth grade, ninth grade. Welcome, yeah, it was kind of just. Yeah. My shit was Juju and Jules. Both. And Jules stuck with me to this day. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact. Juju's. Juju's. Juju's like, more like my mom. Fact. My mom called me up. Um, <laughs> fun fact. I actually create. I Nelly Nelly Diamond was born in Miami, right? Do you used to dance? But, no. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's a no. name. No, it's not. It's not. You want to know how I Nelly gave Diamond. myself that name? Nelly on your heels. No. Shut up. Because I grew up. I grew up. I grew up in New York, and my real name is Nanelle. Nobody in New York knows that my name is Nelly. Like nobody calls me Nelly in New York, oh. and nobody calls me Nanelle in Miami. So it's, it's like cool it's like it's like his situation, <laughs> yeah. huh? But you know when you go home, people like, I ain't calling. But you when I go home, home, it's, it's like, like <laughs> 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 right? Like relax, guys. Relax, long walks on the beach. <laughs> my childhood nickname was actually um, so because I'm I'm from the Congo yeah. and we speak French in the Congo. Yeah. So mm. everyone in the Congo we used to call me La Fille, which means the girl. The girl. Yeah. That's dope. I didn't know that. Like, that's, that's like Lafie. Yeah, that's like my yeah. my was childhood. Only, was the only girl there? No. <laughs> I don't know how I got it. I just got it. Little girl. The girl yeah. Lafie? I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. that's my childhood yeah, nickname. We're not moving and carrying our bags into new situations. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah. Oh, oh, What's up? Man? But sometimes, it's. I would really say it's like carrying new. Like sometimes you just be bored, and you know, you you, you wanna you wanna right you, oh, <laughs> no. That's right. if she God like damn. That, boy, no, I'm better. saying like all right. So don't so, so you're no 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 no. That's not that's not. Don't don't don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so so in the midst of healing, okay, you're healing. You are healing. But while healing, and it doesn't necessarily just because, you know, you're entertaining somebody doesn't mean it has to be sexual. It's not sexual. But you can entertain someone to a point where it's like, all right, it's getting too serious. I am supposed to be healing. So let me fall back just a little bit. And forget your feelings. That I got you all tied in, I'm like, clear. I know we've oh been. Shut up! Why is he doing that? Wow. That's not wow. what I'm saying. Well, as you can see, guys, we have a, a phenomenal <laughs> cast, <laughs> a bunch of different personalities. Ladies and gentlemen, um, why are you yeah. looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Uh, I'm very, just, I'm just saying. saying. What, I'm what just saying. It's coming in hot. I'm not gonna go a date on it because I'm be too much pressure. I'm mean, coming soon. Though. It's coming L- soon. Look, look within it, within, uh, within weeks. This year? Yeah, yeah, July. Yeah, this year. This year, this yeah, summer. This summer. Coming please, to you this summer. Please. Coming to you to you this, this summer. Let's get it. We're not going to do So are we available we're now? We're here. <laughs> are we available we're now? Right we now. love y'all at home. Um, appreciate y'all That's, tuning in. We got one more topic, right? Um, and then cast interviews. I got time. I haven't, I haven't gotten the call yet, so I'm good. Yeah, what's the topic? I haven't gotten the call yet, so I'm good. What's up? What's up? You, huh? you don't want to get an interview with her? He got. You don't want to get an interview with her? I do. Okay. You know what? Uh, <clears throat> we talk about we talk about the positive. Uh, so like, I'm gonna need uh, you to edit fresh, a lot of the stuff the that I'm saying fresh, right now. Love. Like you know what I'm saying? Like oh my god, I love love. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about the stocking shit. I'm like, like we were already going down that dark path. <laughs> like loving someone to the point where you stage. Just the Wait, stage. what? Let's that topic. All right, um, all right. In the series, uh, in the in in the buried series, uh, it's a, it's a new new love. It's a fresh beginning. Um, what are some of the pros and cons? Just the feeling of like meeting somebody new. That honeymoon stage, because we all have been there. Like. Whether you came out of a relationship or whether you felt like you ain't want a relationship or wasn't ready for a relationship and then you meet someone like, damn, this might be my person. This person is like, is it? is like yeah. perfect for me. Right. Yeah, 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 I got you. I like, that. um, so just how do y'all feel about that in dating and a relationship and love, especially in, in the time and day that we're in now? Like, you know, you, you see somebody you like, you know, you hit the IG, you know what I'm saying? You're scrolling all the pictures. You looking at the tag pictures. You looking at the interest. You looking at what kind of music they like. You looking at how they dress. You are like, yo, damn, this person, this, this this could be. I like how she carries herself. She look good. She, she around her family. Yeah. She looks like she got goals. She's driven. Yeah. She got she going for herself. You know, she ain't living home. You know, 
Right. Damn, that sounds like a solid <laughs> profile, bro. Right. Right. Everyone, right. everyone does real right. estate. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone she, does real yeah. estate. <laughs> so, she go to know. church. She got a big ass. She got fat ass. <laughs> she got a good. She family. got a pretty face. Yeah. She know her daddy. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. The hidden that, yams. That's that's um, the one, bro. She got the yams, but she, she like, it, you know, she's. Yeah, so uh, have you ever been like in a honeymoon <laughs> stage, or like that new love? For, I how love long the honeymoon, honeymoon stage. stage. Like all that it's my favorite stuff. stage. It's the honeymoon what's your stage. Favorite, what's your favorite part about the honeymoon stage? I think it's just the consistency. Like in the beginning. Yeah. They be on you, huh? So on me. Applying pressure. And then. Right. Nelly, do you even try to be nice, guys? I do try. Listen. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Huh? is a mutual thing. It is a mutual thing, but he said, what's my favorite part? Like my favorite part is the consist. All right, let me. I love the consistency and I love the reciprocity. Can I can okay, I say okay, that? Okay, okay, okay. Because okay, I'm the type of woman okay, who likes. I I huh? I I I love being a woman. Like you know, like my femininity. Like you know, my soft yeah. woman era, as you guys want to call it nowadays. You like, you like oh, and that, 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 <laughs> I say, a lot of girls <laughs> like the idea of falling in love. Yeah, and it's and like it that fresh feeling. That and fresh it's not feeling. Y'all fault. I feel like Cause since we're young, man, we're just like fed certain shit. And girls are fed that romantic, like, Prince story. Exactly. Yeah, y'all be chasing that idea. Of, like, I, like you know, so it's, it's like. That's why you don't let your daughters watch the Disney Or is it a con? It can be both. Because, be- you know what I'm saying? Because in a honeymoon phase, I think what happens too is we don't take into account that we're doing the most. But it goes both ways like, too. As a as a male, do you do the most? Do you go over the top, or you keep no, it nigga, like, yo, this is we riding baseline. And, to go to top and then it, times, if we so meet at a certain point, then like, we go lift I'm the bar. I'm one of those people. That's how I am. I will meet you. Yeah, I'll like, do that over I will the top meet shit. you Mutual right interest. there. Mutual so, interest. We, we gonna ride and then. So 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 now, what's your what's your favorite part about the honeymoon stage? My favorite part. No, react the question. What's your favorite part about the honeymoon stage? Honeymoon phase. Honestly, I it's got to be like the feeling of it all. Yeah, yeah. Like it's facts. just like the feeling, like the butterflies. It's, it's like little simple Ooh. things that you know, as as it progresses. You that good morning more. text. But like something like <laughs> even beyond like morning text, cool. But <laughs> morning text, cool. I think it's 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 like looking forward to seeing that person again. Like, yeah, I just saw you. You know what right. I mean? Cool. And, and, uh, like, all the outfits new. So, you know what I mean? You ain't seen none of the fit. You ain't seen none of the fit. <laughs> 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 you ain't seen none of the fit. 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 You know, as you as you progress right. and get older in the relationship, yeah. it's not going to hit the same. Yeah. You know, it's taken for the, granted. Yeah, yeah. When you're in the beginning and you're like, damn, cuz, like, <laughs> I've been waiting for this text and you finally get the text. All right. And you see the name, you're like, oh, is you text me? Cuz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> she's she's going to yeah. yeah. What's your, uh, Burger King? <laughs> right. Oh, Jules, what's, your, what's your favorite part about the, um, the honeymoon phase or stage? Same shit he said, man. Just that idea of new, you mm-hmm. know, exploring different shit, um, having different conversations, being vulnerable. Um, being vulnerable, and that takes time, man. That intimacy takes time to build, but you can always mm-hmm. see like an initial spark where it's like, damn, I think I'm gonna fuck with this one a lot. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. you know, yeah, and I feel like it's something natural. It's like it something is, that you, you feel. Can't force yeah. intimacy. You can't yeah. force, force a connection. Yeah. You can see that there's no. Yeah. Do we catch y'all off guard, or do y'all know right away? Like, oh, I'm gonna fuck with this chick. I don't. I or, think I, or y'all it catches me off guard because, like, whenever like somebody, like, uh, it's always been like I've been, I'm overly into PDA. I love PDA, and I'm yeah. like, I'm goofy about it. I'm over the top about it. And in the beginning, it's like. It's magical when they be on it, and then as it go on, like, <laughs> they start oh, getting gosh, annoyed. Stop. Hey, I've been mean, this mean. Now you're annoying. Let me get a back. So you're affectionate, <laughs> like <laughs> this is how I act. Like, you know, like what are you talking about? Let me bite your elbow or some shit. Like, let me bite like, your elbow. Yeah, wow. yeah. Let I, me tickle I, you. So romantico. I don't know. I, I I get in those situations. I'm very I'm a very realistic person. So <laughs> when I come across this woman and it's something new, like I gotta and I know myself. I'm a very self aware person. So I'm like, 
Sometimes I'm like, if I know I don't be an ain't shit nigga, I like, I need to get away now. Abort. Mm. <laughs> I need to abort because I ain't, I ain't, I, I care about Keep you. Keep the guard. Is that right? right? You're like, damn, uh, hey, I, I actually I, respect I, you. I, I, I gotta like, you know, I think, it, and honestly, I think because I got a daughter. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit'll change you. That shit changed me a little bit. A lot of it. I mean, I said a little, a lot of it. Mm. But now I'm just like, if I'm not ready for a relationship, bro, I'm just not ready. And if we don't got time to do this, that, and the third. And people don't, don't realize how much work a relationship takes. That's right, fair. So That's a agree? lot of work. Like, a lot of men say they're not ready for a relationship. Do you do you think, like, what, what do you do? Like, I can say I'm not ready for a relationship, but if somebody comes by and I'm like, this is the person, I'm all of a sudden ready. Do you think that's just not the person for you? Mm. Dude, like, when someone comes, you might not be ready. That's what I'm saying. But Sometimes that catch right you person, guard. Yeah. that should have make you ready. Or yeah. you'd be like, this person is worth me getting ready. Ready. Mm. How you feel about that? Oh, shit. That's a bar. Damn. Um, Bars. Nah, I'm not even, even then, no. Nah, because, like, you, you really got to be happy with who you are before you... So it's on your end right yeah, now. Yeah, I can't... You, you got to fill your cup up first before you yeah. even tap somebody else's cup. Yeah, because if I'm not That's in the facts. right place, yeah. the right state of mind, or... I can't even... Huh? You've never said fuck it like he was. He, he has. He was like, I'm not selfish ass. He has. He was selfish ass. No, no. You've back never said fuck it before. Back in the day. Back in my adolescence. <laughs> nah, nah, but 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 oh, okay. Nah, but but back in the day. 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 Can we agree that the honeymoon stage is awesome as well, or mm-hmm. phase is awesome because the storytelling? You are oh, really yeah. like getting those. Well, these are the first time yeah. you know. After a while, people tell you the same story two, three times. Like, I heard this shit. Okay, I heard this. Do I let it ride? Do I say, hey, you told me this already? Yeah. Like, you know, like mm-hmm. just the storytelling, getting to know somebody's background. Like, what? Like, I just found out you was from the Congo. Yeah. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, that's dope. That's unique. You know what I mean? You don't hear that. You don't I hear that. Nobody yeah. has never told no, me that from fact. the Congo. So, Ricky so, like, remembers. I <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stuck with That's me. why he took the so big, much offense yeah. when he saw you. <laughs> when I got pregnant. <laughs> you know, so just, just like the storytelling and communicating and, and just sharing right. your past or history and emotions. It's cool and it's it's free. Um, as you get in a relationship, like when time goes on, <laughs> shit like, start getting expensive. Right? Or people, or you tell people stories and share something and they hold it against you. Like you told me you did. I'm like, wait a minute, damn it. Yeah. I'm I don't like yeah, that. Yeah. Enjoy the honeymoon stages, man. Yeah, I don't the honeymoon like that. stages is cool, man. I think. I think, it, I think at mm-hmm. the end of the day, like, people get comfortable. Oh, Anything. People you buy, you, get. You buy your dream car. No. After, no. After money, you know, people get comfortable. Well, it's, no, it's, it's not even the first. That's comfortable. 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 You buy. You buy your dream car, right? After money, you looking at another car. You like, damn, my shit not. But damn, look at that shit. Like, you know what I mean? You buy the newest and, and greatest and shit right now. Two years from now, you looking at something else. I don't think sometimes it's not even so much comfortability. I think you know. You gotta remember, the honeymoon is still courting. You know what mm-hmm. I mean, like in, in a court. But you phase. can you can be in a full blown relationship and still court your lady or your man. Right, right. and they right. hitting the same. Was, was, people don't understand that. I'm seeing you get dressed that. right here in front of me. Like, can I get in the bathroom? I'm seeing you pop off right here. I'm seeing so why what? we late all the time. Right. It ain't the same for me. Just seeing you already done it, like pow. Like, right. Damn, but while I'm that. getting dressed, we can make it exciting. Like, nah, what's wrong with that? Sorry, yeah, I was gonna yeah, say yeah, we're yeah, not yeah, leaving. Yeah, it yes, it, it is. Like, like that's no, see, that's no, the no, issue no, with no, you no, guys. No, Slapping no, the eyelashes no, on. No, but listen, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. But even you saying like you can court, that's fine. There is a difference between being in a phase of courting and just courting in general. So you're married, right? Yes. What did you What did you and your wife do when you started dating her? before like you guys became like serious all right so see just give me one example our situation is, is different though so I, I got i do have to lead in with that okay so like for us we had technically two honeymoon phases and it was two completely different things and i mm-hmm. think it was just because of mindset and age okay so like even now i mean we still do things that is kind of honeymoon phases. You know? So I mean, why is that dope? That's how it should be, though. Exactly. The they know what it is, but, right. we're, but we're different, though. Like, I can't I can't tell you what works for me. It might not right. work for you. Like, no, for I, I understand that. What, what I'm mean? saying but, is, but you're still doing what you yeah. did when you first yeah. got her right. but, 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 after you. Correct. But, okay. But how we do this, though, is communication. Like, if something falls off, we're not afraid to say that, hey, you used to do this. Don't do that anymore. 
And do do you and get hit person, with? And, those, and the person who gets told that has to be able to have enough accountability to be. That's that what thing. I was about right, to ask. Because right. sometimes you say right. that, and they be like, "Well, you don't do this anymore." I'm like, yes. "Damn, man, why you say that? Yes. But, why are you telling but, me that? Because I just told you that." See, but the thing is, the thing is, though, that's gonna happen. You gotta work. Yeah. Of that. course. Don't be scared of getting that back because yeah. that's a defense mechanism too. Mm-hmm. You know 100%. what I'm saying? Calling yeah. somebody out when they call you out is just trying to even the scale. Right. So you got to be able to call that out too and be like, listen, this wasn't a tit for tat thing. Like, and that's that dog in you. you like somebody yeah. tell me I, I used to do something, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to, to, to knock this out and do better you know, and exactly. work on that. You that's the benefits like, of playing sports be though. Like, like, from from like, a oh, young say age. Less. Say less. Yeah. Say less. You get like, used to improvement. Right. Right. Perfect, perfect example. So I'm really big on holding doors. I hold doors for Crystal. As time progressed, it wasn't like I didn't hold doors still. I just didn't hold every door. Like sometimes. Start slipping a little bit. Yeah. She told me that one time. That's I remember she got in the car. She got in the car. She, she calls me booby. So we got in the car. She goes. Why she call you? She calls me booby. Everybody knows. If you're around, if you're around, you know. You know this. I don't know why you're doing that. I had, so, I had to get you booby. to say it on the mic. Goes, so, so we sat in the car. She's like, booby, how come you don't always hold the door for me anymore? That's all I needed to hear. I looked at her and was like, hey, yo, you ain't never touching another door again. And so anytime got- she walks up to a door, I'm like, yo, you touch that door, I'm going to get mad. Right. You know what I mean? But it's, we got that's, there, though. That's who and she, and she said that right. to you, but and you know she already, you you know that she already been thinking about this. Like, yeah. dang, so yeah, she probably yeah, had yeah. this on her mind. Yeah, yeah. So boom. But, but we weren't there all the time. Back in the mm. day, she'd tell me something like that. I'm like, well, shit, well, how come you don't do this anymore? Right. And I feel like that's a lot of guys do that. <laughs> God damn, it's a door. I feel like a lot of guys do that. <laughs> I just opened the door <laughs> two days ago. Huh? <laughs> door outside. Rebuttal, yeah, <laughs> just to I freaking deflect from having to take accountability. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a it's a balance for sure. It is, yeah. it is. To take it back, like to the whole honeymoon phase. Like, I just think that it's just it's the effort, right? And the thing is, is that you're mm-hmm. putting the most out there to show that what exactly. show what you can do. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like to kind of put it in sports terms. It's like if you play in an 82 game season, like in the NBA, and you come out, you might average. You might average 25 points in the season, but you probably started the season with, like, 40 points, 35-point games. Mm-hmm. As the season goes along, mm-hmm. you might have a couple 15-point You games started off A couple of 10-point games mm-hmm. in there. And then yeah. before you know it, your average is still 27. They're like, yo, he balling. Yeah. Yeah. But you, we ain't talking about January when he was doing 10-point games, 15-point games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the effort hits different. Or, well, like, we, I'm concentrating on something else. Okay. And, like, I haven't given time to what I was doing before right. because now I'm worried about this. Okay, yeah. so you know how right? do you, how do you, so you since be you being the only married person here, like, how do you, like, what in you or what's in your mind that keeps you, like, wanting to, you know, go for 30 points every day? Because I want to be the best. I want to be the best husband ever. I love yeah, that. Yeah, like, I want to be the best. Be I, don't know how, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I, mean? I haven't figured that out yet, yeah. but shit, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. You know what I mean? But that, like he said, there's that dog in you. Like, most yeah. of us in here we were athletes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, we were we were there on the field like, yo, I want to yeah. be that. You know yeah. what I mean? So, or the hardwood. You know what I mean? So, for me, yeah. correct. Or the hardwood. The who? The hardwood. Oh. So, Pause. <laughs> wow. Big <pause. laughs> you know uh, So, you know, the, the whole thing about it is, is that I just, I don't ever want, I don't know, I have a lot of pride. Right. I don't ever want to have a day where mm-hmm. Crystal sits in a room and looks at me and can't just be like, yo, that's my man right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, if there's that's ever dope. an I don't yeah. know day, mm-hmm. that that's really going to fuck me up. Right. And, I, and I've told yeah. her that. Like, I want you every day, whether you're waking up and you see me in the bed, or outside on the couch, or we're at an event, and you see me walk in that room, I want you to look at me and be like, hey, yo, yeah. that's me right that, there. That's dope. The day, I love the that, day that you don't do that, yeah. we got to have a talk. That's me right you there. know what I mean? Like, I need, I need that. You know what I mean? So it, I think it's yeah. effort, too. But when you find your person, I think it's, right. it's easier. It's, it's yeah. Second nature. yeah, it's just, you, yeah. you just do it. And I For think sure. that's how you know. Like, if you don't if you don't meet a person who makes you want to do that. Who inspires you for that, yeah. Man, but you ain't answer the Oh, that was the question? Oh, that was the question. People get Amazing. comfortable. You think it's comfort? People get comfortable. Life changes? I think it's, yeah, I think it's, li- I think it's a little bit of life. Day, day to day. Big backs. Day to day. Wait, but I, I want to hear the comfort thing. What do you mean? <laughs> can't say okay, that. so I, I say comfortable in the sense that, like, all right, you, you did all this to, to get 
I don't want That's how women say, you did all this to get me, and now you got me, and you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> All right, so you did all this, right, to, to, to come together, that better, to come to bed equally, okay, equally, thank you, and now you feel like because we're, like, past that, now we're, like, actually together versus, like, all right, you know what, let's let's go out sporadically, like, all right, just get dressed, I'm going to pick you up, or vice versa. Now we're actually in a committed relationship. It's like, oh, all right, I already got it, so I don't really have to try it. So you go from, you know, date night every weekend or date night every Friday to, like, once a month. Okay. To okay. twice Sometimes a month. Sometimes as women, so that, too, like, y'all used to have a little panty in the bras match. Y'all used to do a little sexy stuff like that. Some yeah. of us yeah. still yeah. do yeah. that, some though. Some but not some a lot. Right. Some would be like, some trying to get knocked down with the bonnet on now. Now you ain't never had a bond before. Yeah. Right now, you made sure now. Oh, that's what I'm saying, though. Like it goes both. Yeah. It's, 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 it's both it's ways. You ain't even wear. Right. Put on no deodorant. Wait, is okay. there? Wait, 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 wait. Whatever. Is there a time where you can honestly say, like, yeah, I was being lazy? Absolutely. Give me, a, give me a time. Give okay, a time. so like. Let me think how when was I on I don't really remember. No, 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 no. I don't really remember. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm sorry. Sorry, Ricky. No, like, all right, for example, the whole bonnet thing, right? Mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing against bonnets, guys. I'm just saying. I, I, I don't. Worry, I, worry I don't. Yeah, it's public. a really good example because before yeah. we we before we started cohabitating, this is me and an ex. What a word. Go right? <laughs> cohabitating. Before we started, started living, living together, together yes. right? It, it would, like, I would, I would never let him see me, like, not, That's like, no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was always like, ooh, surprise type of thing. And and the bras and the panties, everything would match. You know what I'm saying? And then you start and then you start living with somebody and it's like, all right, we're living together now. Flaws and all. You love me, right? So you gotta love me for who I am. So. But I feel like that's the shit though. Like when you start seeing it is. someone's flaws. It is. And you're like, oh, okay, this is And funny. that's why like, that's yeah, that's, that's the where the shit. whole comfort yeah, thing yeah, yeah. comes from. Cause yeah, honestly, <laughs> Think about that. If, if, honestly, go ahead. if I can't be comfortable with mm, you, right. I can't be with you like long term. Right. But just because I'm comfortable with you doesn't mean like I have to stop trying. And putting effort. Yeah. And putting effort. Guys, hold, guys, here, hold on. <laughs> you being comfortable, let's all be honest. Mm -hmm. If when the, the girl you met, it's nothing like, like you meet her, she looks phenomenal, she's dressed up, her aunts, he looked great online. But it's so different, like, with y'all women. Y'all add so much to it. And I ain't trying to knock it because when you say this, the first thing I want to be like is, well, go date a man. You sassy. <laughs> you like men. What do you Like, mean? you got the aspect of the makeup, mm -hmm. all the stuff on top of that, whether mm -hmm. it's lips, fill fillers, eyelashes, blah, 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 blah. And then the filters on top of that. Yeah, so when I good. finally see you at the house and we've been together for a while, yeah, but and she's... all of that's off and down, that's a whole new the being. And with men... The most we do is get a haircut. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? But this is this is us. Like, right. you know what I mean? It's right. like everybody in this room. Right. But you know what? And you I feel like those situations no, I, I get that. are that on be. us too, though. Thank you. Because we fucked Thank up you. by believing in the hype. You Thank gotta, you. My, everything my dad, my dad, on Instagram yo, my is My dad crazy. was always like, yo... When you're taking girls on dates and shit, and you see them all done up, that's cool, but go to the pool or yeah. take them to the beach. beach. Or not not <laughs> even or not not or even session. not even that. Like, like the first time you spend a night together, I'm not gonna sleep with makeup on. Some girls some girls gonna <laughs> like, be cool or something. Yeah, some girls, some girls gonna huh? be cool. They'll figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> like right. You you, you, you kinda you you know. You know what I'm saying? Like you you know. Yeah. You know. That shit just be crazy, man. Cause I, like That's you see the girl, crazy. you be like, yo, this is what she look. This is what oh, like you see the video of <laughs> applying the makeup. Yeah, I be like, yo, oh, they be looking the really raccoon eyes really joints too. Yeah, yeah. So that just be tough. Eyes. You know what I'm talking about though. You know exactly we love that for you. What we talking about? Though. Yeah. <laughs> you know what we talking about, right? So I'm gonna give cool. you know what we talking about like in general. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna give you a different perspective. So you talk about comfort, right? So I can see from your point of view, I can be seeing. I think I can speak on behalf of all the fellas here. Sometimes too, it's it's mind frame. Okay. Like, right. like if I get, I get, I'm trying to get at you. Like mm -hmm. I want you to be mine. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do everything I gotta do. Of course. To make you mine. Mm -hmm. Now, once you are mine, 
my mindset is no longer like I'm making you mine. I gotta keep you mine. But right? a so, lot of people don't think like that. But a, but as many that don't, there's a lot that do. Okay. And communication mm-hmm. goes a long way. So Key. I, I right. you, absolutely. You an so this was a conversation that I had to have with Crystal mm-hmm. because Crystal's number one thing with me was time. I give her time. Like she needs me somewhere, I'll be there. She wanna hang out, I'll be there. Once we moved back, like in Fort Myers. There was, yeah, all so the time. Much, there was only so much that I could do <laughs> over there. <laughs> but when I moved back here, I was like, yo, I got bread to make. You know what I mean? So I started different jobs. So I, I, I got the job at, at Briar College, and I started teaching. I started doing more like I was coaching. This is an athletic director doing this, doing that. And then I started the podcast, and I started the LLC, and I'm like, yo, I need to grind right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Talk about life insurance, 43B, da, da, da. How Boy. do we get bread right now? Right. So what ends up happening is I spend my whole day like my whole day is involved in the pouring into everybody else's cup. Mm. Like just as a teacher, as a professor, whatever, a coach, like I pour in a cup. So when I get to the crib, I spend 45 minutes tops with Crystal. Tops. And, you know, I got to go. tired, too. Yeah, I got to go find my time to get peace, too. Like I got to be mm-hmm. able to just release the day. Because mm-hmm. there, there might have been somebody that I needed to slap real quick. Yeah. I can't, I can't punch the shit out of you because I'm professional. You know what <laughs> I mean? I, I barely look professional now, quote unquote. So. The last thing I can do is punch you in your mouth. So I need to be in a place where I can let that go. So for her, the conversation was, yo, like, you don't give me time anymore. Right? And the easy thing can be, oh, he got comfortable. I'm not comfortable. You know what I mean? Like, you I just don't have it to I give. I don't got the time to give. Right. But we're having this conversation. So I'm going to let you know now, I don't have the time to give. But whatever I have left, I got you. But let me give you perspective and let you understand you know a lot of guys like we we don't do really good with that they don't because the thing about it is is we have a fear of failure mm-hmm. like what if i'm getting after the bag and i don't mm-hmm. get it what if my mindset is at the end of the yeah. year i want to make fifteen thousand extra then you go yeah. and you look at that end of the year statement you only made two you know what i mean like yeah. and then you told like people like you know what i mean mm-hmm. like you told people you know the person right. gonna be like hey how do you go for you now you gotta answer. yeah and yeah. talk about your failure and the last person you want to talk about failure with is your significant is your lady. Other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because when you tell your significant other that you failed, mm-hmm. you in your head about it. Because mm-hmm. now how does she see you mm-hmm. as a provider, right. as your man, whatever mm-hmm. the case yeah, yeah. may be? She, but, and she might still but, see you fine and be okay with you, but because you, know, you man ate at us. Yes, he bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. So a lot of times it's not so much comfortability. Sometimes That's it's just... Yeah. Man, our our effort that we put into you, mm-hmm. but then still putting it in, but you, then you, just, you know. but you you see what you did though. You had the conversation. Yeah, you had the conversation yeah, with her. Yeah, you gotta that understand this, their relationship is clearly on a whole nother level. Yeah, they're married. Different. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely, like, yeah, and, absolutely. Like, but there's nothing that says that a boyfriend and a girlfriend cannot <laughs> have that conversation. That's t- that's a tough like, conversation yeah. to have though. You see what I'm saying? That's why, like, I think on both sides though, this is not a mm-hmm. this is male versus female. This man, male and female. A lot of times we can't utilize certain words. Like comfortable to me is a trigger word. I think it's a trigger mm-hmm. word for a lot of fellas, especially dudes who don't feel like they're being comfortable. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like we're not in the honeymoon feel like phase anymore. Be you got comfortable. You got comfortable. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like especially if I was trying to be comfortable. Yeah. Like, if I didn't feel like I was being comfortable, you tell me I'm being comfortable, I'm hot now. Mm-hmm. Like, so now we're arguing. Down. Down. You know what I mean? Right. Now, Instead now, of just asking me why I feel like you got comfortable. Or you like, could, like, or you could mm-hmm. just be like, what changed? Hold on. Here's, here's you know what I mean? The honeymoon phase is also kind of setting up standards. So sometimes mm. so a guy court high. a guy court too high. He goes mm-hmm. all in. He do twenty dates in a week. Big breath. Like, I'm <laughs> <wanna, laughs> yeah. going crazy. Mm-hmm. Now that's what he's he expecting, right? Yeah. So now when that relationship becomes solidified, he's like, I gotta keep this up. Right. Yeah. Right. And when that happens, it's like I gotta work more. Yeah. Now I don't have as much time. But when we do have time, we go on long vacations. You get everything you want, but it's not at the frequency <laughs> no more. Nah, yeah. like she got more time. She got more time. And not necessarily even like even that, like not the gifts part or the 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 glitz and the glamours. Like something as simple as intimacy, let's say. Like, but that's what like, set the foundation in the honeymoon. Like, but the big you know, thing that could fix that was he's right here first. He doesn't mm-hmm. go all out. Yeah. You know? The biggest thing that can fix that is is uh, not waiting to shit get awkward to communicate. It should be. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. love a, a weekly sit down, a weekly chop up. How was your week? What's on your mind? What you Yo, that's actually fire. Yeah, yeah. If you get that 
Yeah. You kind of, it's open, and people get comfortable yeah. instead of just waiting to, like, because if you wait, 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 it'd be, like, four, five, six things that be on your, on right. your plate that right. you already should have got out now. Great, you, great the point. shit is volcano. And it already added to other yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like, right. Wow. Temperature check. Right. So, so do you feel like it's almost healthier to treat your relationship almost like a business? Like, you almost having, like, weekly Absolutely. meetings with your Absolutely. business partner. Absolutely. Like, yo, how we, yeah, how we exactly. operate it. If, if you don't communicate... The 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 legal, the legal yeah, it word. is it's a financial institution. You know Facts. I mean? so Facts. You kind of got to treat it like a business. Like we do have to meet every week. We do got to talk about like you know where are we looking? Like how full is your cup? Is almost like how do we look with asset control? Right. You know what I mean? So yeah, right. it, it, it parallels. Even if right. you got to share every aspect, the the positive right. and the negative. Even if you you got to think about you having a long day. Think about our parents. Our parents having a long day and they just come home like they ready to wear some masks when we was young. Like damn. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't do nothing to you. Oh, yeah. Like, you, but hey, it's just like a legend. You have a, a long day. No, All you had to do is knock one mom, thing over. Mom, yo, mom, it's mom different today, because so. you got to remember, like, when we were younger, like, I remember, like, having, like, long days. And the days I was. Right. Well, you know, as they get older, them daddies, they're not running to see you daddies no more. They ask you for something. Not, like, so even though, like, you know, as your parents, like, I look back at now as my dad, he's asking me, like, yo, when you used to come home, like, we used to run, he's like, yo. It's not the same, you know. So I'm Damn. fortunate enough to see my dad every day after my parents got divorced, but. Let's be honest. Most cases, that's not that's not it's what not it this, is. Yeah. So like those little things after those long days, those little moments of joy, are being. Trying to build up bread, but then it's like, damn! Now you have a kid. Now you that's trying true. to work hard. Now yeah. you trying to take care of her and the kid. Now the, she trying to take care of the kid. Now she feels she don't got your time, Somebody and she tired from taking burning. Yeah. yeah, that's you got. Mary Rich. And on that note, it don't buy happiness, but to to uh, Julius, name an IG name, bro. Uh, J Mendez underscore R T H. All right, uh, T Pinella on everything T P I N D E L L. Uh, Barry's coming soon. Make sure you like, yes, share, sir. subscribe. Okay, man. Yes, you're Slim City that. Live. <laughs> Slim City Live on all platforms, everything. Uh, Nels 1914, NELZ 1914 on everything. Yes, sir. I said, go wild. <laughs>